Hey and welcome back to the channel, I'm Dazzling Dave and this is your match preview for our team, Wolverhampton Wanderers, at home, Friday night kickoff, 8 o'clock against Crystal Palace in the Premier League. So basically this preview is a little bit more to the point. We don't have my dad on on this one and we don't have a Crystal Palace view. But it is an important fixture because again it's, it's Wolves seventh fixture of the Premier League season. It's at home to Crystal Palace but also it's quite a topical um, fixture in the fact that it's the um, first Wolves fixture that's come under the new pay-per-view scheme. I've done a video on this. There's been loads on social media about the pay-per-view and how it's a little bit unfair on fans, 14.95. Just to say that there is a, a national campaign and also a local campaign to uh, raise money for a local food bank, which is the Wells uh, of Wolverhampton Food Bank. Uh, there's two campaigns that are running alongside each other. Uh, a Wolves fan called Kim set up a Just Giving page that you can donate to, and also the um, the Wolves fan Parliament also voted to support this and have set up an opportunity to send a text uh, that you can donate to the food bank uh, instead of uh, paying the uh, the fifteen pounds to watch the uh, pay-per-view or maybe you'll just pay on top anyway so please get behind that and support because it will help uh, feed people in and around Wolverhampton and it's for a great cause and just for those of you that enjoy my watch along one way or another the watch along will happen however we have to watch it or listen to it uh, we will be there to chat as fans throughout the game as normal so on to the team news. Nuno spoken today at his press conference um, about the need for Wolves to convert their chances and score more goals. Uh, the need for wanting to score in the first half. As you know, Wolves scored almost of their goals in the second half. And uh, obviously the, the game against Newcastle was a big example. Made a mistake at the back and we should have probably been 2 or 3 nil up and we ended up losing the two points. Uh, Crystal Palace uh, will monitor their full-backs Tyra Mitchell and Joel Wald. Uh, who are basically nursing uh, small problems and Gary Cale and, and James Tonkins are back in training for them. So on to the head-to-head. -head. Wolves have lost three of their past six encounters to Palace which is as many as they lost in the previous 13 and Crystal Palace have won three of their last five uh, league games at Molyneux although they did lose the fixture at Molyneux in July and neither team has scored more than two goals in any of their 16 top flight meetings. Wolves total of 10 points from their first six matches represents their best start to a top flight season since 1979 which would have been 13 adjusted to three points for a win. Wolves have failed to score in 58, 58 out of the 82 games we've played since promoted in the Premier League in the first half. An incredible stat, including each of our past five games. Premier League game. Obviously Wolves are trying to uh, evolve to a more possession based system under Nuno at the moment and we could say that we're in transition but an interesting another interesting stat is Wolves have only won one of the 11 games that they've had 60% or more possession in the Premier League and in each of the games that we've won the last eight we've kept a clean sheet in them when we've conceded we haven't won the game. Some Crystal Palace facts and stats. Did you know that the Eagles have led for 316 minutes in the Premier League this season which is more than any other side? And Palace's tally also of 10 points is their best start since the 2016-17 season. And danger man Wilfred Sahar has scored five times in their six Premier League matches this season and obviously is going to be one to watch. So on to what I think the team will be and also my match prediction and also don't forget I always want you to leave your predictions and thoughts ahead of this one. Score predictions and goal scorers and you've got a chance of a shout out in a future vlog. So my team that I'm going to go for this time is Patricio are back. I know he made a mistake and he got a little bit of stick but hey he's been fantastic for us. He'll be back in the sticks. It'll be Bolly, uh, Cody, I think Kilman did really well, so we'll stick in with him. I'm hoping that he starts with uh, Marcel on the left-hand side. We've seen him have a bit more of a game. Saïs has done okay, but he's not a left wing-back. So I hope that Marcel will get to start. And on the other side, 
uh, Semedo, I think he did really, really well. Um, a lot better in the last game and he's starting to grow into his role and it's all about the training on the pitch. In the middle, uh, again, see it will be in Dendonka and Neves. And up front, well, Jimenez, obviously, I think Podence, uh, Pedence have done fantastically well. He was my man of the match in the last game. And Neto's done well. Will he hold Traore back or will he start him this time and unleash him from the beginning? I have a feeling he's going to unleash him from the start this time, so I'm going to go with Traore, but I can't, again, I might be wrong with that. And my score prediction for this one is going to be... <laughs> I'm going for it. I'm going for a scoring in the first half. Um... And I'm going to say that we're going to win three goals to one. Um, so what we're going to score in the first half. We've got to score in the first half sooner or later for sure. So that's my prediction. Leave yours. Let's hope we can get the three points. And if we were to win, 13 points would put us level, at least for the time being, with Everton, who are at the top of the table. And 13 points out of seven games wouldn't be a bad start at all, would it? So until the next one, I'm Dazzling Dave. Fingers crossed for a Wolves goal fest. Always Wolves.